A couple from West Yorkshire have completed a hydroelectric project which uses a stream outside their home to make electricity for 40 houses. New rules starting next month would have made the project uneconomic, so the race was on to finish it. To their great relief, they have managed it, as Cathy Killick reports. The steep valleys around Hebden Bridge teem with rushing streams. In the past, the water was used to power water mills. Their ruins crop up everywhere. But look closely at this old weir and you'll notice a high-tech modernisation. The water is being sucked through the grills into an underground pipe to a turbine to generate electricity. It's the brainchild of Jane and Bede Mullen, who've lived here for 30 years, dreaming of the day they could make their own power. So what are we generating now? Since we started, beginning of this month, we produce 16,500 kilowatt hours. That's brilliant, isn't yeah. it? We estimate that over a year we will produce enough electricity to supply about 40 houses. That's 40 separate three bedroom houses, which typically consume about 4,500 kilowatt hours per year. Uh, that's all from our little stream here, from our little scheme that we put in. And it means that as a consequence of that, something like 60 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions will be taken out of the atmosphere, which is great. Jane and Bede are justifiably proud of this project, but they're relieved too. The government has recently changed the amount of money it'll pay for renewable energy. Under the old regime, this project would have paid for itself within about 15 years. Under the new rules, we're talking 100, totally ruling it out. And the deadline between the two systems, the end of this month. So Jane and Bede have just made it. It's been a roller coaster, I think you might say. I do think it is worth it. And I think that it's such a shame that we can't see more people being able to do what we've done. When you've got rivers like this all scattered all around Yorkshire, it could have been just so amazing to, to have generated so much power for, for West Yorkshire. The project's been so close to the wire, the Mullins' house is still on the old power supply. They'll connect to their own turbine in January, finally realising their 30-year-old ambition. Cathy Gillick, BBC Look North, Hebden Bridge. And, you know, the theme of energy stays with us now. Do you know why? Are you, you're not going to talk about the force, are you? The force oh, is with us.